Do you think your kin search for you, Lazel? I know they do not. It is my responsibility to cleanse myself. They pursued the Nautiloid. Perhaps they were trying to free you. A vain notion. I am one of many, and will not be a burden to my queen. Smoke. Something's burning. He of the unsleeping eyes, grant me the might to carry this burden. Grant me the faith to face darkness without fear. Only a coward would speak ill of the fallen. Would that the arrow had pierced your heart instead. A massacre. Drow and goblins slaughtered the lot. Please, just leave me be. I hear shouting. Someone needs help. Excellent armor. Drowcraft, of course. Not much magic left, though. Sounds too... The Grand Duke could be inside! Don't just stand there! way inside. Watch it! That was my foot! Coming off that door. Opening it could spell trouble. In here! We can talk when you get me out of here.
Sam. I'm afraid proper thanks must wait. Godhelm, allow us peace in this plane and beyond. Teach us care when we would be reckless. Teach us certainty when we would have doubt. So it is spoken. Fresh air. At last. Your training serves you well, child of Gith. I'm in your debt. Counselor, are you all right? It takes more than mere fire to break me, Eva. Now listen close, Fist. Duty calls. Drow have taken Grand Duke Alder Ravenguard westward, if my eyes and ears can be believed. Gauntlet. Report to the manor and send for reinforcements. We must find the Duke. On your command, Council. The rest of you, count the dead. Take word of their sacrifice to this city. And you, Githyanki, I must ask again for your aid. Please, rescue Ravenguard from his drow captors. The Council will reward you for your effort. May I trust you'll see it through? By the time aid arrives, it might be too late. You've the heart of a dragon and the will of a hero. Tell me I can count on you. I see your goodwill has limits. Far be it from me to stretch them. Should you hear word of Ravenguard, seek me out. I will not fly far. Fist to work.
When we set out on this little adventure, I never imagined I'd watch you slow. It's a lot of bloodshed. I'm almost in prayer. Perhaps not. You don't sleep well, flitting between dreams and nightmares. Maybe you wake up because you know something is wrong. Or maybe you just get lucky. Shit. No, no, it's not what it looks like. I swear. I... I wasn't going to hurt you. I... I just needed... well... blood. There, in dim firelight, you see him for what he really is. A vampire. A slave to sanguine hunger. It's not what you think. I'm not some monster. I feed on animals. Balls, deer, kobolds, whatever I can get. I'm just too slow right now. If I just had a little blood, I could think clearer. Fight better. <laughs> At best, I was sure you'd say no. No. I needed you to trust me. And you can trust me. Because we don't have a choice. Not if we're going to save ourselves from these worms. Please, only be a taste, I swear. I'll be well, you'll be fine, and everything can go back to normal. Really? I... <laughs> of course. Not one drop more. He holds you carefully, delicately until he strikes. It's like a shard of ice into your neck, a quick, sharp pain that fades to throbbing numbness. Your breath catches, your pulse quickens. is finally clear. I feel strong. I feel happy. <sighs> Shouldn't take long. So many people need killing. Now, if you'll excuse me, you're invigorating, but I need something more filling. You watch as he stalks towards the forest, stronger, more confident, ready to hunt. This is a gift, you know. I won't forget it. Good morning. How do you feel? It'll pass. Just be glad I'm not a true vampire. 
A bite from them and you might wake up as a vampire spawn, like my good self. All of a vampire's hunger, but few of their powers. Oh no, I should be cinders in this light. I hadn't seen the sun for 200 years before we crashed here. Someone, or something, wants me alive. They've changed the rules. Some of the rules, at least. Running water still burns like acid, and I don't know if I need an invitation to enter a house. As for my other quirks, well, <laughs> we can figure those out in time. That's my theory, but who knows? I'm just glad you're being sensible about these uh, revelations. I was worried people might turn up with torches and pitchforks. Although there's still time. A vampire? Well, that explains the pallor. Given our group's nature, I don't see much harm. We're each monsters in the making, after all. For his sake. He best not develop an appetite for Gith Yankee. Oh, quite the opposite. I'm here in the spirit of openness and honesty to work together as a team. I'd just better not wake in the night to find fangs at my throat. There now. We're all friends again. Shall we go? There's a long day ahead of us. Looks like there's a chest buried in that hay. The ox tenses, horns lowered in your direction. Ah! <laughs> 
someone's moving around in there. You spot a man crouching between the shelves, just as he spots you. <sighs> Bugger! <sighs> Burn, bastard! <sighs> <sighs> 